morning, GMS. I'm Jackson. And I'm Jackson. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of December 6, 2021. The sixth grade GMS robotics team is competing in the state competition this Saturday, December 11th. Be sure to wish them all good luck. The annual GMS canned food drive is underway. Students, bring any non-perishable canned, uh, canned box foods for your pride teacher. Let's see which grade can bring in the most cans or boxes. You are still required to wear your masks on the bus, so please remember to have a mask on before you enter the bus. If you are home due to illness, please make sure that your guardian calls 317-889-4040, extension 2, to let the school know what is going on. This is the final week at GMS for our beloved principal's secretary, Mrs. Sheila Martin. Sheila is a staple at Greenwood schools and after-school events, especially of cheerleading. She is often referred as a cheerleading legend and a maverick in this sport. We wish her the best in her new adventures. Good luck, Mrs. Martin. Now let's go to the interview, top training, the GMS sports update, and GMS skills. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Welcome to the GMS News Show, Interview of the Week. I'm Avery Hawkersmith, here with Ms. Stainbrook, Athletics Secretary. Um, hi, how are you doing today? I'm fine, how are you? Um, good, thanks for asking. Good. Um, would you like to start by telling a little, telling a little about yourself? Sure. Uh, well, I am married. I have two adult children, uh, four grandkids. Uh, I have worked at GMS. This is my 24th year here. That's good. Uh -huh. um, what job do you do when you're athletic secretary? I do many jobs here. I, um, I collect all the physicals, sports physicals, uh, for anyone who wants to participate in sports. I hire the officials uh, for sporting events. I uh, man the concession stand, uh, stock that, and get it ready to uh, have business. Um, I do lots of other things, <laughs> many, many. <laughs> okay. Um, what are some of your favorite things to do in your free time? Well, I love spending time with my grandkids. We do lots of things together and just enjoy family time. Okay. Um, what job do you like? Would you like to have if you didn't have this job? I would love to be a nurse. I always wanted to be a nurse. Uh, I was a nurse's, nursing assistant for 13 and a half years in my younger days and loved it. I just didn't fulfill my dream. That's really cool. But if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Hawaii. I would love to go see the beauty of Hawaii and learn how to do luau's and have fun. I love Hawaii. It would be really nice. Okay. Thank you for coming this week. I'm Avery Hawk Smith um, with Miss Stainbrook. Have a great week. Hello. Welcome to Top Training, where we share the top weird and training stories of the week. I'm Lillian. And I'm Aubrey. Let's get started with number three. UPI Odd News reports a bear wandered into a 7-Eleven looking for a late night snack. Rochelle, the cousin, the late night worker that night, said she saw the bear going through the trash outside and went inside immediately to call 911. When she was starting to call for help, she caught the bear opening the door and walking inside sniffing around. Animal control came shortly after to escort the rude customer outside to his natural habitat. Number two. According to Huffington Post, a cat missing for three months has been found over 200 miles from home. Dex the cat was brought to an animal shelter after being seen wandering around loose in a neighborhood near, near a shelter in New York. After Dex was scanned for a microchip, shelter staff was amazed to find Dex had wandered over 200 miles away from his home. Dex's vacation was cut short after his family came to pick him up, amazed he had traveled so far. Number one. According to Good News for All, an overdue library book has been returned over 70 years later. Scottish Library said that officials were shocked to open a package and find an overdue library book that had been checked out 73 years earlier. The book came with a letter from the daughter of the man who had checked out his book so long ago. She wrote that her father recently passed away and she found the book with his belongings. The woman wrote, For a bit of fun, we worked out how much could have been due in library fees, and it comes out to a whopping $3,840.97. That's all for Top Journey. Have a great week, GMS. Hey, GMS, I'm Gabby, and I'm going to be playing Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Happy Holidays!
Welcome to GMS Sports. I'm Abigail. On Monday, December 6th, 6th grade boys basketball will be facing off against Shelbyville at home at 5 p.m. On Wednesday, December 8th, 6th grade boys basketball will be facing off against Franklin at home at 5 p.m. On Thursday, December 9th, 7th grade boys basketball is at, <laughs> at Franklin Community Middle School at 5.30 p.m. 8th grade boys basketball versus Pr Franklin Community Middle School at 5.30 p.m. at home. That's all for sports. Have a great day.